Since it was created, it tried to do AJAX functionality and wasn't able to. And a couple months ago, I needed to do it, and I spent two weeks really coding. And I wrote this, these two big patches for adding AJAX functionality to quizzes, and they just merged it in. Um, so the next, the five release should have AJAX quiz functionality. But if you want to test it out now and show me where I did it wrong, that'd be awesome. Um, so that's my vote. Is, is five a major overhaul? Yeah. He's been working a long time. And the maintainer said, before I did this patch, he was about to just give up on AJAX functionality and just abandon it. And he's like, oh, you, you did this. Pretty cool. So that being said, um, all right. So I have this site that I've been working on. Um, and we have these social icons here, um, which are come from a third party. And we have a module, which, yeah, in, which we theme. And for those icons, I don't know how easy this is to see. Um, we basically get the URL for them to share, which is the current page. So I use request URI. Works great when the page loads. These say, hey, Twitter, share this current page. Hey, Facebook, share this current page. That's all great. However, we have uh, these entities down here that are ratings reviews. And for whatever reason, the client wants the share icons on each review. Um, that's fine when the page loads. These get displayed with the current URL. But then we load more entities using Ajax. And if I turn to the yeah, debug is on. The problem is, so I'm using request URI right here to get the current <coughs> page, but this is an Ajax request. <coughs> so my arguments, how do I move down? Arguments here. Uh, oh, um, my request URI is not the page I'm on, it's system Ajax. So that gets pumped out when the Ajax request finishes and the new entities load, their share icons are linking you to share Ajax, system Ajax. Does anybody have a recommendation on? how to say, hey, share the actual page I came from and not the page I'm on. Um, I don't want to use the refer, because that is not something you want to test. And I have this nice little thing I was trying, where, which I don't really like, but it's my only solution so far. If we're coming from an Ajax request, I retrieve a session variable that I set of the current page. And if it's not an Ajax request, I set the session variable of the current page. So how about uh, adding to Drupal settings the current page URL? So that's now a JavaScript variable available to any bit of JavaScript on the page. And then when you make the Ajax request, say, by the way, this is the page I'm on. And then when the Ajax comes back, it, it can use that. So that would work if this theming was part of the Ajax request. I'm requesting entities and then on the entity view, so I'm loading an entity to view it, this is getting attached to that entity. So at this point, the system really has no idea that I'm making an Ajax request, so I can't alter it afterwards. Because basically what's happening is this right here that displays all these. This is a form, and we do a form submit because we have to make a request to get these um, entities, and then I'm building the entities and sending them back to the Ajax. But if a form submit included the URL that you started from on the request. Right, that'd be great for the, that would be great for the form, but the form is provided by one module and these icons are provided by a whole different other module. So the form is separate from, the Ajax request is completely separate from rendering these entities. And these en when these entities are rendered, these icons get added. So I have this little hack that is like, why, why? let's just assume that if we're on system Ajax that we want to, there's a session variable we can use. Why do you want to avoid that? Why do I want to avoid this? I don't know. It feels gross to me. Not as gross as being like, hey, um, server refer, HTTP refer. This is all um, uh, 
authenticated traffic. Uh, it's all anonymous traffic. Yeah, partial right. As soon as you set a session variable, so. Yeah. So. No, no, it's. Well, if you set a session. Yeah. So this, this is way, so it will set a session cookie, and then you have to do things in your VCL to make yeah. sure it's the right session cookie. It's. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're we're at sec to go back. That's what we're doing. We're looking for the session variable. If it doesn't exist, we're dumping every other cookie in the part because Drupal modules like to set their own cookies. That they bring, yeah. That's true. So, Could, when you call system Ajax, I've never tried it, but could you pass like a query string that's of the like destination yeah, style? Good. And then pull that back off because it'd be then part of the URI. I, I don't know if it keeps it as part of the URI. There. But then yeah. that, I think that's yeah. that has the same problem as like just getting the refer. Yeah. Because then no, someone could just alter yeah. it. What's that? Let me come back. Uh, Kevin, do you say something? Well, I didn't think that a query string would come back in the URI, but you can get it. Well, yeah, I can get it differently. Yeah. Here, I'm just, I mean, I'll change it around. But, so that's a possibility to do that. I'm just, I'm concerned that it's, I don't know why I'm concerned, because it, it's sharing icons that no one's going to use. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> someone could change that Ajax request and change the query argument to be like, I actually share my page instead. But I guess. No, I think they could have done that anyway. But yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. That's a good suggestion. Maybe I'll try that. That's all I have, unless anyone has any other suggestions or hacks. All right. You know where to find me if you come up with any.